What's up guys, the May Patreon rewards are now available. Cyclonic Rift, Jace the Mind Sculptor, and Avison Angel of Hope are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves or by clicking the link in the description below. What's going on guys, welcome to part two with this unpredictable ultimatum deck. This deck is sweet. If you did not check out part one, Please, please check that one out. This one, more than more than almost any other one, uh, deserves to to take a peek at that deck list. It's a fun one. Uh, it is down below as well. If you're interested in playing it for yourself, you can import it there. It's fun. It is not set out to win every single game. It is set out to do some cool stuff and maybe win occasionally. <laughs> uh, but it, it really is uh, a very, very fun deck. I don't think I can keep this hand, though, despite uh, having some very good lands. <clears throat> Uh, this I will keep, uh, and we'll ditch this here. Uh, so we get to kind of lean on Gross Spiral into Teferi a little bit, uh, which is going to be good against this kind of deck. Um, so let's go ahead and drop that down. Next turn, uh, if we need to shock out Breeding Pool, we will, uh, just so we can Gross Spiral, get some more lands out. <coughs> um, we're going to need... It's this is gonna be a tough matchup, uh, no doubt about it. They probably just win by being a lot quicker than we are, uh, but we'll see what we can do. Oops, Narset's actually not a bad draw here. Uh, we can actually play our next turn, maybe deal with one of these crazy good creatures. Um, I got a Paradise through it, sure. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna get rid of this Anax right now. Um, chances are they're gonna try and kill this Narset, uh, so we're gonna save ourselves probably a couple damage there. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but uh, we're, we're not looking good in this one, that's for sure. Uh, it'll be nice to play out Teferi, maybe bounce something here, but it's it's going to be rough. Uh, and really, our best bet is to bounce like a token, which feels terrible. Gains double strike, wow. Not an expected card. Okay, well, they just win. That was quick. <laughs> not a card I expected to see is Raking Claws. That's very interesting. Um, cool tech. Finishes out the game pretty quick. All right, well, win-win. Uh, Narset we got to see do a little bit, but that was literally it. Uh, so <laughs> we will jump into game two here. Uh, the one thing I will say about this deck is the games do go pretty quickly, uh, either in your favor or not, most of the time, not. Um, just because you are pretty much a goldfish deck. I mean, you've got interaction, you've got Teferi and Narset, but like, other than that, you're kind of just hoping to to get there on the uh, ultimatum plan. And this is the struggle with this deck, is you've got so many of these cards that it makes it a little bit tricky uh, to actually get what you need out. We'll throw Inspired Ultimatum back, uh, and we'll lean on this so next turn we can just play Paradise Druid with the Mountain. Uh, sorry for the frame rates, guys. Uh, it tends to happen when we're against... Uh, against specific players is what I'm realizing, and I don't know if that's just, you know, two networks trying to connect. It doesn't usually work too well for us, so we'll do the best we can to make this a quick one. <coughs> Excuse me. Looks like it probably will be a quick one, though. Uh, Narset may be able to do some work here, so. Wow. The good news is we've got so many, like, powerful ultimatum cards, it's really easy to, um, to kind of shock or, or basically, you know, burn something out. Um, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and play Zerda. Uh, I think that's the right call. We're going to take a pretty big hit here, no doubt. Um, I'm assuming they have, like, an all that glitters. Okay. Uh, kind of just have to hope they don't have another thing to stick on it, which they do, naturally. Hmm. Well, that's a problem. If only we could play that card. <laughs> um, yeah. Ugh. Um. 
Pretty sure we just lose. I'm gonna see how this works. Uh, this can reduce it by two. Can we do this? Uh, uh, does that not work? Am I dumb? Okay, guess not. I was trying to see if we could, like, if that would actually work, but it does not. Um, and that's okay. Worth a shot. Worth a shot. Um. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. If they just have one more thing, they can just kill us. Oh, they just kill us anyway. That was a very quick game. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and concede. Our frame rates are terrible anyway, so I'm fine with uh, losing that one. That's fine. We've lost every single game, but that's okay. Like I said, we're in it to, to learn and have fun. Um, I do want to get one game in. Uh, we, we had one, uh, the last game of the first video, we really got to see it work, uh, which was sweet. Um, but I would love to see uh, us really, really get the get the ball rolling with this deck. Well, just once, I just want to make sure we can do it, uh, just to see. Oh, jeez. If we draw a land, this is amazing, but like, I can't, I can't bank on it, you know? Jeez. Oh, We're going to keep this, but it's such a bad keep. Um, I'm going to put one of you back. Against a Luris deck. That was the deck we were against at the end of the last video as well. Granted, this is already a different kind of Luris deck, but that's okay. Oh, let's play Stomping Ground Tapped. We're not going to cycle this quite yet. Yep. Probably just going to play Zerta out. Um, I don't like the idea of blocking Dread Horde Butcher, but I'm not opposed to it either. Um, we do have to keep ourselves alive. Oh, well, they got a kill spell. Okay. That sucks. This deck is not good on the ladder, <laughs> uh, is the takeaway. Um, yeah. It's migration path. Um, we need blue. And we'll get white here. Like, we're probably just going to lose. They've got so much damage already in us. So, like, there's, there's very little we can actually do. But we gotta try. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. There's no reason to really do this, but we kind of have to do something. But this is what the deck's trying to do, for the record, is cycle away into cool stuff. Um, we have not seen it work at all with the ultimatums, I don't think, uh, which is really annoying. Um, we may give it, since we are only like nine minutes in. Yeah, we're just going to we're gonna concede. We're going to give it one more shot. Um, I just want to see if we can get there. Uh, if we can't, that's fine. Not going to be butthurt about it, but one last shot at doing this. Um, this deck looks, like, on paper really, really fun. I think if it... Uh, probably in, like, best of three, it's a much better matchup. Uh, because you usually are going to have a little bit more tech, but... <sighs> sure. Um... I don't really want to put any of this back. Uh, we're going to put you back, though. Ooh, frame rate. Okay, hold on. 
We're going to jump out of this game. Like I said, we it tends to happen against specific players, so we're going to try one. We're going to rematch one uh, new time to see if we can get better frames there. All right, let's do it. Hope we can get there. Um, I'm kind of watching the frame rate down here just to make sure that we're not going too, too low. I think this one's going to work. All right, cool. I like it. Yes. Yes to this hand right now. This is not a bad hand. It's not a great hand, but we've got grow spirals. They're mulliganing. So we might have a shot. <laughs> that makes it, it's so terrible. The only way we might have a shot is if we've got land ramp or excuse me, just ramp and they mulligan. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. Oh, fun, fun. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. No real need to not do it on on the on the opponent's turn or our turn or whatever. It just doesn't really matter. Lotus Field's a weird one. I don't know how much I like that in here. Um, so, like here, is it worth it to Lotus Field? We're going to do it. We're going to try. I don't know if this is correct. I have no idea, but we're going to try it. Given more careful consideration, uh, might have been better to sacrifice a different land so we could emerge an ultimatum, but I don't really think that would work. Sure. Go ahead and kill that. Get it out of there. Um, we'll play Paradise Druid. Not feeling terrible. I mean, this is a Jeskai, most likely Fires deck. Um, granted, they're not running the Macro Sage, which is a little interesting, but that's okay. Um, I could have played Shark Typhoon, but they probably just would have bounced it, and that would have just blanked our turn. That's part of why I went with the Narset plan, for the record. Sure. Good card. Kind of wish we had, like, anything uh, to do here. Uh... Might as well do that. Um, just going to kind of keep things going. My assumption is they have a sweeper, but we might as well at least get some stuff out here. We're attacking on a few different angles, so that's not bad. Maybe. Maybe we get there. Probably not, but maybe. This is a cool card. I really like that. Yeah, kind of expected a Deafening Clarion. That's fine. If we could draw anything but a land, that would be helpful. So let's do this. Oh, seriously? I just needed to draw a, a card. Literally a card. It would have been fine. Doesn't matter what it is at this point. But that's okay. Oh. The one chance that we actually had and we're kind of getting mana screwed or flooded actually, but you know what I mean? That sucks. Yep. Oh my goodness, what is this? Uh, I mean, let's gain our two. Wow, I misclicked. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah. <laughs> that was so stupid. I played a land so I could sacrifice two. That was... Ugh, this is not our game. I thought this could be. I really did. 
but we've gotten we've gotten so many lands it's ridiculous and we're not getting anywhere do we just draw for I kind of think we just draw for we just need guards seriously um do that we can't we don't really want to cycle this away is the problem oh, God. I can't believe I sacrificed the lotus field to itself that's so stupid I can't believe you can sacrifice it I feel like it should be you can sac you sacrifice two other lands like that's so silly that was a weird thing to say Yep. I will miss you, son. I'm not cycling this. Um, yep. We need to draw like a good cycler, a sorcery cycler would be perfect. Ashiok. Um, like that kind of sucks, but I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. Could have been really good for us. There was a ruinous ultimatum in there. All right. Don't feel good. Don't feel good about it. Holy crap. Um. Yeah. How many lands can we possibly draw? <laughs> Let's do this. We have too many lands. We have so many lands. It is ridiculous. <sighs> yeah. I mean, I get that I misplayed on the land thing, but really lands are not our problem. We just have way too many of them. <sighs> Don't feel good about it, guys. I mean, we have the Cyclone out, so there's a hope, a very vague hope. You've only hit, what is it, two ultimatums so far? Yeah, one, two. Hell, at this point, we can just play an ultimatum most likely. Like, not all of them, but we can play a lot of them. And here, they're just going to be able to toolbox out whatever they want. This is our last turn. We're giving it this one last turn. I am calling it. In my head, I was like, yeah, this will be fun. <laughs> it's good but not the worst I mean I can just replay this See, now we have a vague hope again, and I hate that. I hate that we have a vague hope. <laughs> I also probably didn't need to shock ourselves. I just kind of did it. It's fine. We're holding on, but it's just kind of silly. Look to the skies. Yeah. 
Yep. Yeah. Why wouldn't you have played that also? You could have attacked with that. And given all of your creatures haste. That just seems like a bit of a misplay. Five, six, seven, eight. They would have gotten us down eight more points. And that's only if they don't... I mean, they've got another Fae of Wishes. They could have gone for another one. But whatever. Um... Um, I mean, we just lose, right? They get to swing in for a lot, bounce this if they want, yeah. Alright. We didn't get there. Uh, summation of this deck. Um, I think it would be a heck of a lot better in best of three. Uh, I think it's a fun deck. I mean, I really do. Oh, let's, let's open up some packs really quick. I do think it's a fun deck. Like, it's cool. The, the idea behind it is great, and... I will say, in the last game, in the first video, we kind of got there with it. It just, they happen to have a Zenith Flare for, like, exactly enough to kill us. And, like, that, that's just kind of, it is what it is. Um, I think given another turn, we actually would have won that game. But, you know, I just, we didn't win anything. So, I, I, I guess, if you're not looking to win, which I don't think this deck is, then it's fine. It's a fun one. But it's a bit expensive to actually make because you do have a lot of ultimatums. You got a lot of rare myth or uh, wild cards that you need to create. Um, so if you've got them, go for it. It's fun. It's a fun deck. I just don't think it's super good. Um, so and that's okay. Uh, my my hope dwindled as we went through this. So regardless, it was fun to play. Uh, it does excuse me some very very cool things. And ideally given the right circumstances, you can really, really break a game. Uh, I just don't think we were able to get there. So it is what it is. It was still a fun test. Uh, if you do have a deck suggestion, please feel free to uh, send it to us. Uh, join our Discord. We actually have a channel uh, specifically for deck suggestions, so you can actually just drop them in there. Uh, and I'll have the Discord link below uh, if you're interested in joining that. So regardless, though, guys, I really do appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. I will see you very, very soon uh, in the next gameplay video. Hopefully we'll actually get a win that time. <laughs> see you guys.